If you've acquired a new device or you're thinking about buying one, there are a bunch of things that you should check before trying to install a custom OS. If possible, see if you can address these issues before buying the device. Here I've purchased a used Google Pixel 5. And I want to check the functions and the hardware capabilities right in the default Android OS first, and then proceed to install a custom ROM or operating system. So the first thing I'm going to check is the Wi-Fi connection. This is a very basic function, and it should work on any device. I'll also note that sometimes devices connect to your router, and there are a few issues that might pop up including disconnections or causing the router to reboot. So double check your router settings as well, just to make sure that it's not a router thing versus the device issue. While testing the Wi-Fi capability, you can also check for volume. The next major thing you want to check is OEM unlock ability. This is the most important thing when installing a custom ROM. To do that, go into settings and keep clicking on the build number until it enables developer options. Then go to developer options and look for OEM unlock. This should be able to be switched on if it's not switched on already. If it's grayed out and you are connected to the Wi-Fi, then that will be a problem. Sometimes you do need to connect to the Wi-Fi for that to be enabled. Next, I want to check the calling abilities by installing a SIM card. At this point, you can check if the SIM tray is working, assuming you know that the SIM card is working on another device, now you can check to see if the data connection works without Wi-Fi and the other basic functions like calling. While making a call, it's a good idea to test the loudspeaker and the in-call volume. Sometimes these features don't work as well on certain custom operating systems. Here I'm also testing the proximity sensor, which will turn the screen off when you hold the phone up to your head. Other hardware things to check are in the quick settings like the flashlight. Camera is also important to check both the front facing and back facing cameras. At this point I also like to record a video and even though you don't see it in this video or hear it, you can test the microphone and play back the video to see if the microphone is functioning. Testing Bluetooth is also important, especially with newer devices that require Bluetooth for headphones. 
Headphone jacks are no longer built into a lot of phones, so be sure to test the Bluetooth capabilities with the devices that you want to connect. There are a few other hardware functions that you can test like NFC and the accelerometer, for example, with apps that require shaking. But here I am not demonstrating that. If that's an important feature to you, then it might be a good idea to try and test that out before installing your custom ROM. The fingerprint reader, if it is hardware on your device, like this one, it's on the back of the device, it's a good idea to test it out. Here I'm also testing the hardware buttons. If there are any switches or additional buttons that don't show up in this device, be sure to check those. Lastly, I am going to test the GPS. On some operating systems, it takes a long time for the GPS to connect, and sometimes it gives you the impression that it's not working, so it's a good idea to test it in the default Android operating system to make sure that it's not a hardware issue. When in doubt, if you have the opportunity, spend a day or so with the device using it as you might your regular device, just to see if you come across any problems. You might also want to check out battery life while you are doing this. Once you know that the device is functioning properly, you can go ahead and install a custom OS and see where the OS is failing versus the hardware. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. And if this helped you out, please subscribe.